Hello everyone, it's Grandpa Hickory. Hope all is well with you. I got my tea, I hope you got your coffee. I got back kind of late. I, I went walking this morning, walked my three miles, and I did my walking backwards, walking sideways regimen. And any road, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Jimmy was there by herself. Her husband, he stayed at home, which I'm really kind of glad he did because uh, it's really sad. I mean, when he's there, he just falls over the table and it's just really sad. The man needs to be cared for, uh, well, by a, a nurse practitioner or somebody. I mean, I'm not making fun. I'm just saying it's just really sad to see it. But, anyway, anyway, we had a real good talk, you know, politics and stuff. We always talk. She's of the same opinion I am, and like we are. And uh, she realizes the United States of America is in dire straits with these Democrats in office. They have literally brought us to the brink of World War III. But anyway, I want to talk to you about something that, uh, you know, is on my mind. But right now I want to tell you that after I got through walking, I left. I went to Dollar Tree and I got some stuff there and I came back here. And thank God my uh, darling, uh, my little rescue cat that was injured, it didn't jump back up and finish off the kitchen blinds, thank God, but he has damaged them. I mean, I'll, I'll have to pay to have them replaced, but I'm not going to do it right now. But any road, uh, he didn't uh, do those things. I picked him up uh, early this morning, and I set him in the potty, the cat potty, and I held him there and petted him, and, and I took his, his right hand, and I did like that in the, in the cat litter, and I got him moving around and stuff. Well, after I did that, I went on ahead and uh, I got an audience outside there. I went on ahead and uh, left him alone and he, he number one. Well, he didn't number two and that's what bothered me, see. And uh, I got a little cat round bed that I got and he had used the bathroom in that. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, but any road, I washed it up, cleaned it up with a, a a water hose out front and then I washed it in my washer, cleaned it all up, disinfected it, but I'm not going to put it out for a while until he gets back to doing full cat, uh, potty, you know, cat potty. And I think he did because I noticed in the cat litter box that uh, there were some kind of long pieces and that's what he does is long pieces. I've noticed that. So that's, that's a good thing. It's healthy. But he wrote, I'll get off that. I just wanted you to know that, thank God, I didn't have any further damage. So I'm glad I got that done. But you know, people, there are some things that really bother me. I mean, you know, why are these lobbyists protected like they are? You know, they, they come and they walk right by us. They go up to our government officials and they bribe them. See, they're not lobbyists for the good of people. They're there to bribe the politicians that all of us have put in office. So you see, they're anti-American. They are actually terrorists. Where are the vigilantes? Where are these so-called militias? Why do these people walk around free amongst us? Why aren't they met with resistance? I'm just asking you. I'm not inciting a right. Let's get that settled here. The algorithm will nail me. I'm just saying. What's going on? I mean, I heard about the nut up there that killed four people and shot 16 more. Where was he when all these lobbyists that are destroying our country, they have taken rights away from our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. They have taken our rights away from us. They have stolen our freedoms. And they have bound us and they control us with their bribes. And they say, I'm not, I'm not a briber. I'm not, I don't bribe. I'm a lobbyist. You're a liar. You are a liar, Mr. Lobbyist. You are out there bribing our politicians. The ordinary person like me and the ordinary citizen, we don't have them tens and hundreds of thousand dollars to give to politicians for them to go in there and, and vote whoever gives them the most pile of cash and they'll vote their way. 
Come on, people. We need to stop these anti-Americans that are in our nation destroying it. They are our enemies. Don't look at China. Don't look at Russia. We need to clean house in America. you got to fight fire with fire. These people already started this war in our nation. Now the citizens of America need to finish them. And it's going to happen, people. War is coming to our nation. But it needs to start there. These people that have destroyed our government, that have destroyed us, should not be allowed to walk unharmed amongst us. That's what shocked me about this guy that went in there and, and, and shot all those people. What, in Ohio, I think it was? Somewhere, I don't remember exactly what it was. It might have been Florida, I don't know. There's so many of them doing that. And who are they shooting? Joe Blow, the ordinary citizen like you and me, that all we're doing, we love God, we praise God, we, we worship God, we seek God. And these people attack and kill ordinary citizens. And these people that are bringing all the problems in our nation, they're walking around. And they drink their fine liquors and their thick steaks and they take our politicians out and they bribe them with cash and they laugh behind the scenes at you and me and your little child, your grandchild and your great-grandchild. It's a crying shame what these people have done. I'm just asking you to look at it. Not inciting the riot. I'm just asking you to think constructively. And you people out here going crazy, you need to do things constructively. You want to make a name for yourself. Be an American hero. Don't go out and kill ordinary citizens that are harmless. Remember these that bribe our politicians daily. You, you drive to Austin, Texas, and you see them punks walking around in their suits. They got them big old fat billfolds. And they got big old envelopes and briefcases full of cash. And they're going inside our state capitol. That's why the Texas legislature is not worth 15 cents. The Department of Public Safety is not worth 15 cents. Corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. And they just walk around passing out money. Hey, you think it's bad right here. What about in Washington, D.C.? You know, I was listening to that Democrat guy that's running against Senator Cruz. Did you know that he is for the taking away of guns? He's wanting to come in people's homes, have people that come in, IRS, ATF, and inspect your home, your firearms. We're here to do an inspection on your firearms. Preparation for seizing. I heard him talk, and he's talking about that their goal, and they're paying hundreds of millions of dollars for him to go against Senator Cruz. They've got plans on putting him in here, ruining our Senate, corrupting it with Democrat ways and their agenda. One world government, the beast, control over the masses, total tyrant, dictatorship control. The Democrat Party is our enemies. Just like China, just like Russia, just like lobbyists. And I'm going to tell you something right now. He was talking about their next goal is going to be the governor. That they want, they've got to get a Democrat governor and a Democrat senator and a Democrat congressman so they can take Texas and flip it blue. This is his agenda. This is what he's planning on doing. I don't understand people. I don't understand. We had to listen to radio this morning. Miss Jimmy was all worked up about it. And she said, what's the matter with these people that vote for idiots like him? There again, you got those lobbyists out there passing out money. You got them lobbyists out there putting that money out. I tell you, God help each and every one of those people. We're in a bad situation in our country. Listen, I'll see you on the next video. I hope you enjoy your coffee. I'm enjoying my tea. I just wanted to put that out there. I don't understand why so many ordinary citizens are being killed when these ungodly people that are evil walk amongst us totally unharmed. 
I don't understand, people. It blows my mind. It just blows my mind. I got a kitty in there, my little kitties running all over furniture and everything. Hey, you have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.